Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for another Dragon Staff tutorial. Today, we will be learning fountains. So I've said this before, and I feel like I must say it again. I am no expert as far as the names of tricks goes. So, if uh, this is not a fountain, please let me know in the comments and I will uh, make some changes in the description of the video. But, just so you understand, for the sake of this tutorial, I am referring to this as a fountain. And before we get any further, I have to say, if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you so much. Thank you. Cannot thank you enough. If you're watching this on YouTube, that means this tutorial was likely up on Patreon about a month ago. So before starting this tutorial or this trick, there is a major prerequisite and that is traps or more specifically this inner arm trap. I recently put this tutorial up on Patreon and YouTube. I believe it's titled Dragon Staff Tutorial Traps. So you'll want to have this one down before moving on to fountains. So in case you have not noticed already, I have my spokes on one end of the staff and the spiral heads on the other end of the staff. This is just to help you to be able to see which end of the staff is going where in this trick. As I know, uh, these fountains and windmill type tricks, it can be really easy to get lost, lost in the sauce, as they say. So hopefully with the two ends obviously different, you'll be able to see which end is going where, which end is leading, which end is following. And with all of that out of the way, we'll get right into this tutorial. We're going to start in that inner arm trap that I had mentioned earlier. The center point is rolling up the top of the hand, top of the arm, palm face down. And now we're going to break this trick or this fountain into two parts before putting the two parts together. The first part is going to be just the bottom half. And that will look something like so. And essentially all that we're doing to get that is the same trap move, only we're going to slowly start to move the staff. So that instead of swinging out in front of us horizontally, it's going to start to swing down low, I guess you could say vertically. So it's very much the same motion, same trick. You can take it slow and just start to slowly bring this trap down lower and lower. So you start to get it so that it's more or less parallel with the legs swinging in front of you. I'll turn around in case that is helpful so that we're both facing the same direction. It's a lot like we're taking this original trap and we're bringing it up high so that the staff is being trapped one end on the top of the arm and the other end up high near the armpit at the side of the body there. So we have that really high trap up near the armpit and that is where we're going to want the staff to be landing once we bring it down low. So same thing, the one end of the staff is rolling on the top of the hands. The other end of the staff is making contact with the sides of the body, basically at the armpit.
This also serves as a good way of switching the direction in a fountain, but uh, we'll get back to that later. So you want to play with that a bit until you are comfortable with that, and then we'll move on to the second half of this trick, which is the staff swinging upwards overhead, like so. So very similar to how we got into that bottom part of the fountain, we're going to do the same thing to get into the top part. We're going to start with that inner arm trap, keeping it up high, landing near the armpit or at the armpit. And then instead of the staff swinging out in front of us, we'll start to bring the staff that it swings up overhead, up over the chest instead of out to the side. A big difference, if it's not obvious to you, is instead of bending forward for the bottom half, where we're kind of hunched over in a forward bend, for the top part, we need to be lifting the chest, slightly bending the back so that the staff can go over the chest, which if you're like me and back bends are a challenge, then this half can be more difficult than the bottom half. Similar points of contact, the staff is being trapped between the top of the hand and the armpit. There is a point here where I'm switching between the hands, where the center point is kind of resting right at the center of the chest, just for a moment while I get that other hand underneath it. And I'll turn around once again. And just so you can see exactly where it is at the side of the body, hopefully, this is just my right side you're seeing. and just my left side. Something I am not sure if I mentioned in the trap tutorial, there is a very brief moment in this trap move where the center point is switching between hands, or even though you want the palm face down, there is a slight second where the palm is face up so that you can bring the center point onto the fingers, and then as soon as you get there, you flip the palm face down. That subtle little detail is gonna be really important when you're bringing this trap overhead. As you can see, it first makes contact with the underneaths of the fingers, the center point, as it switches from hand to hand, and then it rolls onto the top of the hand with the palm face down or out. But there's that brief moment where it rolls onto the actual fingertips, underneath of the fingertips. Now for the fun part, putting the whole thing together. And now that we are putting the whole trick together, I have to point out, as I usually do in my tutorials, we're just going to focus on one side or one direction for the sake of time in this tutorial. You will want to drill this trick on the other side or direction. Something important to notice in this fountain, now that we're putting the whole thing together, 
the contact point, at least the focus of my contact point, is at the center point. Of course, it is like a trap fountain. So there is the other end of the staff making contact with the armpit, both at the bottom trap and at the top trap. So, of course, when you're in the move, there is the sides of the staff making contact with the armpits during the move. But, the, I guess to be more clear, the contact point that is hitting the arms or hands in this move stays at the center. Hopefully that is clear throughout this trick, more or less at the center. You know, couple center, couple of inches or so. Okay, with all that being said, we will put this top trap and this bottom trap together and make a fountain. We're going to start in this uh, bottom trap that we learned first. And I will turn around as I'm talking through this to avoid confusions that we're both going the same direction here. We're in this bottom trap, and at some point when the center point is rolling up the top of the right hand, right arm, we're going to let that center point keep rolling up the top of the right hand, right arm, and then once it's kind of running out of room to roll, we're going to bring that arm up slightly so that the staff starts to become horizontal. Once the staff is at this horizontal point, we're going to reach the other hand, or in this case, it'll be our left hand. We'll reach that arm up and over the staff to sneak the hand underneath the center point as we bring what was the bottom of the staff up overhead and now we are coming into that top trap. So we have the staff here, horizontal, brought this left hand over. Like I mentioned earlier, for a second it'll be the underneath of the fingertips that come under the center point, but as soon as you get that contact, switch so that the palm is face down, or in this case, out, I guess you could say. And then as you bring the staff up over your chest, lean back slightly, and now you're in that top trap. And if you want, you can just come into that top trap for a second. Because that is basically one half of the full fountain. Started from the bottom, like Drake. And then we brought the staff up horizontally. Once the staff was about horizontal, we reached the other arm over, underneath the center point. Brought the staff up overhead. And now we're in our top trap. Now to finish the fountain, at some point when the center point is rolling onto the top of the left hand, I'll turn around once again, we are in our top trap, the center point is rolling onto the top of the left hand, and we let the center point roll onto the top of the left hand. Once it's kind of running out of space, we start to bring that arm down. So that the staff once again is horizontal but on the opposite side now on the left side and then we'll sneak the top of the right hand over the center point bring this side that was up near our shoulder on the right side it's gonna swing from our right side up over our head to the left and then down in front of us. And that brings us into the bottom trap. So we were in our top trap. I know it gets a little wordy, a little confusing. It's difficult to articulate. So we're in our top trap. At some point, we let the center point roll up or down the top of the left hand. We bring that arm down slightly to catch the staff horizontally in this trap here, much like the inner arm trap we learned. And then we sneak the top of the right hand over the end of the staff that was on the right here, the spokes, is going to come over the left shoulder, well, it's more underneath the left shoulder, but up overhead, 
swings down towards the right side into our bottom trap. And then, just as we started, we sneak the left hand underneath the center point to swing back into our top trap. And this is where it becomes a continuous fountain As I mentioned, we're just drilling this one side or this one direction in this tutorial. So if at any point you want to switch it and start drilling the other side, of course you'll want to follow all those same instructions in reverse, I guess. Um, but at any point if you want to drill the other direction, you can stop at that bottom trap or top trap and change the direction. So it's coming overhead, stop, top trap, back to the other side. Now we're going in the opposite direction. Same thing, you could pause it at the bottom trap, swing it the opposite way, fountain going in the opposite direction. One thing I find helpful when putting these two traps together into the full fountain is to kind of turn the body to face the side while you're in the fountain. I will turn around and demonstrate so that we are facing the same direction. So I'm in my bottom trap and when I'm going to let the center point roll up the top of the right hand or arm. I'm going to turn my body to face the right side as I bring the staff rolling up the right arm. As you can see, I'm facing my right now. And then I bring that other arm over, bringing the center point onto the top of the opposite hand as I come into the top trap. And then as I'm bringing this end of the staff with the spokes up over my head to the left, I'm going to turn the body to face the left. So once we reach that horizontal point and I'm bringing the opposite hand over the staff to the center point, I'm facing the left and then coming into that bottom trap back to the center, back to facing the right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. It really helps to just keep the roll to keep the momentum of the staff going. So I hope that all made sense. I hope that it was helpful. This is definitely one of those tricks that I find to be essential when moving into that intermediate stage of Dragon Staff spinning. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you are watching this on YouTube, I hope you will consider subscribing either to the YouTube or to Patreon. If you are watching on Patreon, I cannot thank you enough. You are literally keeping a roof over my head and food in my fridge right now. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all very soon in the next video.